This is the story of the Purple Rainbow Friends Seed, and you're going to be shocked by just what I managed to find out on this crazy Rainbow Friends adventure. Without further ado, let's jump right into exactly what happened. This is how I loaded into the world. When I loaded into the world, I wasn't really shocked as what was going on because, as you know, usually Minecraft you spawn in and there isn't really much nearby. Now, the first thing I did notice that once again, I was near a Minecraft village. Now, this isn't something that happens rarely. Usually in Minecraft worlds, they try to help you out, but I wasn't exactly sure what these strange pink beings glowing were. So I decided to go ahead and see what was in this village. Now, at first, you might think this is a standard village, but a villager standing here looking up into the distance where the player spawns isn't exactly normal. So I decided to speak to him, and what he told me, strangely enough, worried me. So I spoke to him, and he said, we spotted a creature scurrying around. He then said, still unseen to most, and that was it. So I'm guessing they'd seen some kind of creature scurrying around this village, but I wasn't exactly sure what it was. You see, this world already had some strange beings that weren't related to what we were looking for, considering we were looking forward to finding Purple. Now, the only thing we knew about Purple was that he would likely be somewhere near drains, which meant that he would likely be in between blocks or underneath some kind of blocks. And I decided that I would start looking the moment I got into the world. But unfortunately, I didn't really find much until I went into this place here and found an additional clue. So once I went in here, I now found myself with a chest. Inside the chest, it had a decent amount of iron tools and six torches. So I decided I would just take everything because I knew that this would provide to be useful in the future. Then I spoke to this villager and he gave me some more information. He said, be careful, I've heard the rainbow friends lurk around. And that was a clue that I was looking for. He then said, beware of them and that they are around. So it was clear that the rainbow friends or one of the rainbow friends were here in this village. And it was clear that I was going to need one of them or find one of them to in order to be able to somehow defeat them. So I decided that it would be best if I continued on my journey looking and exploring around. So what I did was I continued to walk through the village exploring each house to see if I could find any kind of secrets. Now of course at first I didn't really see too much because I was quite confused about what could be inside there but I realized that the village wasn't that scary and it even kind of scared me because we were lagging quite a bit which isn't usual for my Minecraft. We usually are pretty smooth but it showed me that maybe there was something dangerous in this area. So I did see another villager what seemed to be a hole and this was exactly what I was expecting so i decided to talk to him about the situation and he said this is one of the holes i don't think he's in there though that's where the danger is so of course without hunting or without stopping i decided to dig straight down here because i wanted to see if there's anything in here now at first i didn't really see anything because there just wasn't anything down there but it wasn't the first place that we looked and it certainly wasn't the last place that we looked so i knew that i still had a few more places potentially in the village that i could check if needed be that's when i came across this poster right here and this poster was quite interesting because it said have you seen him and it was the image of purple from rainbow friends this was exactly what we had been looking for and it was one of the first clues that we wanted to see so i knew that they knew exactly what we were talking about in this village so i decided that i would continue on my journey by taking some more materials and ensuring that i didn't stop looking for purple so as i was looking around and continuing that's when i decided it would be nice to explore the church and as i did i saw a strange figure now i knew that this guy isn't part of the Minecraft world. So I decided to speak to him and that's when he had some very interesting clues for me. He said, we have spotted a purple creature. Purple being the name and the color of the creature in, in question. Then he said it has big eyes, which was very good because that is exactly what purple has if you haven't seen already. Then he also commented that it hides under the farms, which is a very interesting detail because we needed to know exactly where this creature was and of course this tells us exactly where he was and then he said bright purple with long hands so i'm guessing we got a ton more information about this strange creature but it wasn't enough so what we knew that we needed to do now 
was to look under any near farm to see if we could find this creature. And it was pretty interesting because all these posters that were being plastered around were quite scary because at night, especially, these glowing eyes looking at you isn't something that you want to see. So I decided that it would be best if I continued around and looked around to see if I could find a hole. That's when I came across two villagers looking down at what seemed to be some kind of drainage system. Now at first you couldn't really see much, but when I dug down I noticed that I could actually see inside of it. It didn't really seem like a sewage system, it seemed like there was an area to go down that place. So I decided to talk to one of them and he said not much. And then I spoke to his friend and he didn't say much either. So I was quite stumped as to why they were just looking down and looking into this place, which is why I knew I needed to make sure that I explored this one with my pickaxe. So I got my pickaxe out, I opened this up and I started to dig. Now, of course, I wanted to be quick because I knew that nighttime was just around the corner. Villagers were already starting to run inside and I was starting to get a little bit scared because I knew that this creature would come out ideally at night. So I used my pickaxe and I decided that I would start mining every single block. I didn't mine all the way to the end though, just in case a creature came towards me and tried to attack me because that is something that most certainly could have happened. So I decided to just wait at the edge there to see if I could see anything because if I could see anything, I wanted to make sure that I was protected by whatever was there. When I came down, that's when I saw it. I saw two pink fingers on the stone and I was perplexed at first because I didn't know exactly what I was looking at and I was actually quite scared to see what was down there so I decided to continue on my journey and see if I had any armor. I don't really had an iron helmet which is plus two armor. I didn't really have much but that's when I saw this purple creature down here. Now I was quite scared at first because I knew that purple usually kidnaps you and it kills you which is definitely scary to say the least but he didn't react to me coming down here. In fact he didn't react at all which is quite scary. I didn't know if he was blind like Green was or he was just hungry like Orange was. So I decided to ask him what was going on. He greeted me with a hello and then he said something that kind of concerned me. He said, you aren't supposed to be here. Now I didn't know that, but I didn't know how crazy he was going to be. He said, what are you doing in here and who allowed you in here? So after questioning him a few times, I decided to back off just a little bit because I didn't want to anger him anymore. Although he did keep a very keen eye on me after questioning him i looked around and i saw many of the other rainbow friends characters i noticed red was there he said hello he said i'm a scientist of course and i know exactly how crazy purple can get strange if you ask me so it was very interesting to talk to every single mob because they all had unique perspectives on exactly what purple was doing i then managed to speak to blue and he said something that shocked me he said that purple is insane and I wasn't exactly sure what he meant by that, but trust me, I was going to find out. Then he said, there's a reason he's never seen. He's up to strange things. And now I could potentially understand what they were talking about because he was hiding under this village with all characters that were essentially trapped. I did try and speak to Green, but he wasn't in range for me to get a prompt from him. So I wasn't able to get out much information, which was actually quite scary. Yellow, on the other hand, didn't really say much as he was quite the newest member. It was only when I was trying to leave this area that he said I should leave now and he swiftly managed to strike me a bunch of times. Unfortunately, I didn't really manage to get out of there as quickly as I wanted to, which led to me sustaining a lot of damage. I think the best bet for me was to ensure that I never went back to underneath the village because purple was hiding there and he was definitely out to get me and whoever else was there.